Hello and welcome to your seven minute workout with your seven minute actuary. I'm your host, Rhys Thomas, and today we're going to be talking about stochastic processes. And in particular, we're going to be looking at a Poisson process, a compound Poisson process, and a general random walk. Now these are all different types of stochastic processes and we're going to cover some of the properties of these stochastic processes. So let's make a start. So what is a stochastic process? Well, a stochastic process is a model. And it is a model for a time-dependent random phenomenon. It is a collection of random variables xt, one for each time set t belonging to j. xt may also be denoted by x little t, where little t represents our time variable, and x is of course our random variable. So the stochastic process xt, such that t belongs to the set j, and I can put these in parentheses, can either have a state space that is discrete or continuous and a time set that is discrete or continuous. Now the state space is a set of all the values that xt can take. So in the case that we have a discrete state space, we represent the state space by S equals the set of 1, 2, 3, and so on. The time set, however, is a joint realization of the random variables xt for all values of t belonging to the set j, and is also denoted as the sample path. So a Poisson process is an integer valued process which is normally denoted by nt or n of t and we can also denote it as n of t for t greater than or equal to zero but in order for this process to be a Poisson process it must satisfy three conditions one is that n zero must be equal to zero and that is our initial condition. The second property is that nt must have independent increments. And when we say independent increments, what we're saying is that ns minus nt is independent of nt minus nr. So this increment is independent of that increment. And the third condition is that nt must have stationary increments. And when we say stationary, what we mean is that the statistical properties of nt does not change over time. So from our statistical studies, we know that if a random variable x is Poisson distributed with lambda, parameter lambda, we can write the probability that x takes some value little x to be equal to lambda to the x e to the minus lambda over x factorial. Similarly, for a Poisson process, we can have the probability that nt minus ns, that increment, takes a value little n to be equal to lambda times t minus s all to the n e to the minus lambda t minus s over n factorial. So as you can see, there's a direct relationship there where this is our lambda to the n e to the minus lambda times a time interval over n factorial. So if we have a sequence of random variables y1, y2, y3, all the way up to yn, and these random variables are in independent and identically distributed random variables, 
then a compound Poisson process, xt, is the summation from j equals 1 to nt of yj, where yj are the independent and identically distributed random variables. If further that we have our iid random variables all the way up to yn, which as, as we said before, they are iid, and we denote xn to be equal to the sum from j equals 1 to little n of yj, this constitutes a general random walk. Now, it constitutes a general random walk only if the initial condition is satisfied. And the initial condition is that x of 0 must be equal to 0.